Hey guys, it's Kevin here from Void Media, and today I'm going to do a product review. This is for a product called Mentoric. Um, it's a product I've used for a long time. When I was running Monta, it was how we used it to check our metrics. Um, and the reason why you want to use this is because we used WooCommerce. WooCommerce is an alternative to Shopify. Um, some of the things that are great about WooCommerce are that it's free. Um, you just need to host it yourself on like a web host, where Shopify costs money. And another thing about Shopify at that time uh, was that even now, I guess even WooCommerce is sort of becoming more like this, but back then, uh, all the plugins on WooCommerce are pretty much free, whereas Shopify, even the most basic plugin as like, you know, adding a pixel was like, you know, a SaaS or a monthly or monthly price. So uh, when I was running my company, we didn't have much money or even much less than we had uh, later on is that we just went to WooCommerce. And of course, my background is in programming, so I thought I could do it. And, uh, you know, I, I like WooCommerce for a lot of things. Uh, I think it does a lot of things better than Shopify. Uh, one of the things I like about WooCommerce for is for the SEO purposes. Uh, you can really customize some of the stuff. But anyways, this is a product review of Vitoric, a really great analytics app. I'm going to dive into some of the metrics, some of the stuff that you can use use with it. And then again, uh, any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. I can answer them about the software or about WooCommerce in general. And uh, yeah, but let's dive right in. So here's the website. It's called Vitoric.com. Um, I forgot the founder's name, but I think it's from my one or two people. Uh, and basically what it is, it's a stores called Pilot. Again, when I was first using it, it was built for WooCommerce specifically. Now they are also integrating with Shopify just because it's such a big source of traffic for them and also just like a lot of people just use Shopify now. But this is what it does. It basically has reporting, um, which basically shows you all the sales. It has engage, in, engage which is uh, kind of like their own Clavio. They have subscriptions, so you can see your SaaS revenue. You have segmentation. I think this is probably really great. And one of the biggest features for them is that you can segmentate, segment by a bunch of different uh, filters. And again, exporting, that works well. You have abandoned cart uh, plugin that they have in there. So you can see and send out emails. You have cost of profit analysis. And then again, you also have like daily reporting. So that's kind of what Matorca is. I really like that. I really, honestly, I really love the product. I think they, they're they really good. And again, I think I think they're making, these guys are making a ton of money, but let's just look at the pricing real quick. 30-day free trial, and then again, it's based on orders per month. So if you're doing 500 orders per month, it's $50 uh, to, to, to use the software. And then, you know, it just goes up. And I don't think it's that expensive, but, you know, depending on what you do, you can probably uh, talk to them and uh, get a deal. So let's go here to the dashboard. So this is a sample store. Um, and again, here's, here's some of the data that you could see. So let's look at today. So you can see that. Let's just do like the last month. So you see the last month, uh, you know, $8,500 in net revenue, 148 orders, 161 products sold, uh, 39 new customers. If you're looking at this and you see this is very similar to Shopify, Shopify has a lot of this data. Um, WooCommerce didn't have it uh, that well. Or again, even, even then, I think if you have Shopify, Matoric is a great app because you can see like average customer LTV, average net, um, average orders per customer, all this sort of really fun data that you can look at and again, the great thing about this is, let's say you go to new subscriptions, you can actually export a lot of this data. That way you can take it in yourself and then you could um, you know, analyze it or see what's happening. Um, so that's kind of why I really like about that. Um, again, now let's go to customers. You know, you can update new customers this past, uh, m last month, 39 new customers. Uh, you see that 50 average that guests checked out as you know half half your half basically half your new customers or guests and then you know registered customers basically your average LTV is almost double so it's worth getting customers to sign up or at least getting more re repeat customers and here you can see that you repeat you have 916 repeat customers your average lifetime value is 211 uh, 201 dollars and one ten cents uh, average three orders per customer uh, so this is like really helpful to see. And again, you can then export this, um, you know, you save it as an export and uh, yeah, you can save this as an export. And then really what you do with that export is you just put this into Facebook ads and, you know, try to make a look like audience if Facebook allows you. Um, another thing too, is like you see customers that you've lost. So either refunded or, you know, they've ended their subscription. So you could see when that happened, you could see that, hey, uh, they got a renewal order. They probably saw it like the next month and were like, oh, I don't want it anymore. So you could see that here as well. And, you know, kind of the time between orders as well. So they have a lot of really interesting data here. And again, you could see where people are coming from. They have, they're tracking a lot of this stuff. So 
you could see kind of where it's coming from. And again, a lot of this data sometimes isn't fully there just because of the new like data privacy and tracking, but I think it's still useful to see because you can tell a lot by this data. Um, so let's go to orders again. And let's just do a sample, you know, customer segmentation. Let's say order count greater than 10. Let's see if we have any. Uh, you have pre-built segmentations too, which is pretty interesting. So let's say, you can see that this customer, Megan, has been a customer since 2018. And again, she's on a subscription plan. Average two months between orders. Again, average order is you know thirty four dollars. She's added twenty items. Again, this is like a kind of like a VIP customer. She's just ordered has ordered a lot, um, so you could see that she's constantly coming back and buying more things, which is great. She's probably on like a lower plan um, because it seems like she is. Um, she, yeah, she's from twenty eighteen. I think their prices are much higher now. So here you could see that it kind of seems like. 10 to 13 orders is like the average, but let's go look at another customer here. Again, 2018, you can see that the customers stick for a long time. That's kind of why it's so important to have great customers that kind of keep buying your product, even if you're not really doing too much advertising. But again, you can see all this information, uh, total the amount they spent, average order value, the total items they purchased, um, average, average items per order, days between orders. I think that's super interesting to see uh, all, all the events that they've happened for subscribing, paying, ordering, um, joining, for example, et cetera, the subscriptions they have, um, all the orders, how they paid, credit card to PayPal, I saw the previous one, the products, and again, all the coupons used. So you can see that like, you know, maybe if you put more coupons, the customer comes by, comes and buys more. Um, again, you can see product sales for every user to see. Um, for example, let's just do like last six months. You can see that this, this product is the most um, sold. So you can see the net revenue. Um, you can see the body plus, you can see that variations if you have variations you can see which ones are getting sold the most the subscriptions the paid monthly all that stuff categories if you have more categories super helpful if you have a big store carts uh, like i said you can see like when they place the order when they abandon it and you can see kind of what they had in their cart and you can sort of copy this url and say hey look we know that you abandoned it do you want to come back and buy again very useful tool subscriptions Again, very useful to see um, your SaaS. Let me see. Yeah, you can see your active subscriptions, churn subscriptions start in the past seven days, renews in the second, next seven days, ends in the next seven days. So you can see kind of your whole uh, life cycle of your customers and sort of how much revenue you should be expecting uh, based on subscriptions. So you can see here you have 375 active subscriptions. That's about 11K. Uh, about 12K a month in, in revenue, and then about 141K in annual recurring revenue. So again, this is why recurring is so important because you can really kind of predict um, the customers that you're gonna have and also the revenue that you're gonna have. Orders, again, you can see orders. One of the other things I really like about this is kind of like the events that's happening. You can see stuff in real time. You can put this on the TV. I think they even have like a TV thing here, yeah where you can just see your dash, your data coming in, it's super helpful. Um, kind of like a Google Analytics sort of, but not really, um, but that's kind of what you can use that for. Um, anyways, I uh, hope that was helpful. I, I really like the tool. I think people should use it more. Um, for me, it's one of the better tools out there about you know just uh, data, uh, analytics, segmentation, churn, really understanding your customers. And I think it's super useful to see that like, Yes, your customers buy by once, but you ideally get them on a plan and that's sort of what's worth it to increase the LTV. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to email me, Kevin at Moy Media. Uh, that's it, thanks.